Today, I'm using Full Coverage Clear Coffin Nails by BT Art Box, a gunmetal polish, black glitter polish, maroon metallic polish, and a shimmer yellow. This will be part of my Bougie Nails on a Budget series. Hey nail tubers, what is up nailification squad? I'm going to continue to remind you to put up those hashtags guys because we have become a family here at Pick You Color and also a growing community here on YouTube. And besides, you never know what your hashtag may do for you. It's our first Bougie Nails on a Budget for 2021. And I'd like to say Happy New Year to all of you. And I hope for change and many blessings for all of us. And I look forward to a year full of miraculous promise. So we're going to stay positive and keep strong in our faith. I started with this gunmetal gray and originally only did the thumb and pinky. Then I realized I needed a background color on the ring finger for the design that I'll be doing. The nail idea for this set was sparked from this black glitter polish. It has so many colors in its sparkle and I chose colors that reflected each flint of glimmer. A couple of these polishes have been long standing, in addition to the fact that they polish very thin. So I believe I used more than two coats of each. I was trying to remember since this was pre recorded. So, yeah, I think I went for three coats. Usually when I do extra coats, I tend to take an extended break or get busy with something else to ensure the polish is completely dry before starting with the design or artwork. Although I said before that I'm not really into winter colors, but a color combination like this Yes, honey. Bougie Nails on a Budget has been dedicated to creating beautiful sets with regular polish. In fact, I wear more of these than anything. In fact, this is one of my most favorite shapes. I also like long stiletto. I love XXL nails too, but as much as I do, I just can't function with them on. <laughs> but you'll start seeing many other links in videos as the year progresses. Speaking of which, I was wondering if you might be interested in seeing some short links in the Bougie Nails on a Budget series. If you would, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to include them. Once all the coats are dry, I begin to create a unique pattern on the ring fingernail. I'm placing striping tape to use only as a guide to fill in different colors. 
The tape is removed as soon as the colors are placed to reveal a very interesting pattern. Now, I know striping tape can be very tedious to work with, but using it in this way wasn't so difficult. By the way, I'm not recording at my usual nail area because it had gotten a bit too cold and I'm in my room and didn't have all the tools. So I was using my hands. But you know what, that's okay because it shows that it can still be done without all the gadgets. I just go in and fill random spaces with color, keeping in mind not to place the same color next to itself. I noticed an occasional glimpse of yellow in the black glitter polish, so I decided to add subtle dimensional designs to the pattern. I love the way it looks so far. So here I'm adding glossy top coat and we'll start in with black lava rhinestones. These rhinestones are so gorgeous. They came from Love by Verdi Nails and you can find them on her website lovebyverdi.com. These rhinestones are so gorgeous against the black glitter polish. I love how in every turn of this nail a different color stands out from the stones and the glitter polish.
If you'd like to see more like this, Bougie Nails on a Budget uploads every Tuesday. You can also enjoy the playlist where you'll find 24 other unique nail designs that I think you'll like. I really appreciate you for being here and supporting my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you become part of the notification squad and stay informed of all new uploads. Much love. See you next time. Thank you.